Hello, today we're doing some of the final stages of our solar system planet models and I'd like to share with you one of the last items we need to make which is the base of the model. First of all, here's what most people have up at this point. Uh, here's an example of Venus completed by a couple of third grade students in Ms. Branch's class. You'll see they, they created their model of Venus and they have their mounting post already in it. Uh, and so the last thing we need to do after the kids decorate the planet with magic markers is we need to make a base for it so it can stand up in the classroom. That's what it's going to look like. And since our planets are out in space, our bases are going to look a lot like space. We're going to cover them with black paint, but we're going to paint them on all sides with black and then add some white stars to give it some texture. Make sure you put plenty of black paint on here. This raw wood will absorb a lot of the liquid in the paint. So make sure your coat of black, especially on the top, is nice and thick. After you finish, dry your brush on your paper towel. You might need to squeeze all of the black paint out of it. And what we're going to do is actually going to give it some texture as well as some highlights. The white paint is a little bit thicker than the black paint. I'm going to dip just the tip of my brush and start doing some dots. These white dots are going to be the stars in the night sky. And notice how when my white paint touches my black paint, it kind of pools. I'm just putting little dots here and there. We're going to do the same thing on the sides. We're going to add some stars here and there. Different sizes, of course. Stars aren't all the same size. So we'll do some different size stars on the top and the sides. Not too many. So that's one look for our planet bases. Now that I've cleaned my brush again, I'm really going to press it down flat and flatten the bristles on my brush. You can look at it. It's flat. It's razor sharp. I'm going to use the edge of that brush to spread out my star pattern some so that it looks like the stars are bursting through the night sky. This is one thing that artists often do is use the edge of their brush because that round tip doesn't always give you the effect you're looking for. But when you flatten your brush like that and use the edge, you see I can spread the paint out in a line. So you can either do dots or you can create stars that have a, a larger pattern on them like this. It's up to you. No two stars are alike. No two planets are alike. I look forward to seeing your designs for your stars on your planet base for your model. As you can see, I made my plant it using paper and masking tape and then put a good coat of paint on it and that's actually a mixture of red and yellow paint because I'm trying to duplicate what Mars looks like. I still have a little ways to go though. I need to add some details to my planet Mars and I think now that my paint is dry the easiest way to do it and the best results are going to come with magic markers. So I have red, orange, brown, black magic markers and also yellow and we're gonna see how the yellow shows up here I did use some yellow paint in this but yellow's not gonna show up on orange today so let's come back and add some red obviously this is gonna be the darkest color that I'm working with so I'm gonna add some red to it just to add some more details and texture like the drawing has on it right there especially on that white spot right there finish it up in case I missed anywhere when I was painting so I'm just adding some red details to it. So I do my red. I notice looking at this picture right here that there are some darker spots on the planet Mars. So I'm going to come back with my brown and my black and put some of those darker spots, adding some more and more details, trying to make it look like what the planet actually looks like. And on some of our planets, 
There are lots of storms with dust and particles in the air. So some of these darker areas could be from storms or they could be mountains or valleys on those planets. The last one I'm going to come back and use very sparingly is just a little bit of black. I want to get some of these dark spots on the planet. Not too much black, just a little bit, like right through there. It looks almost like there is a big valley. And Mars has been compared to Earth. In fact, scientists have thought for many, many, many years that that may be a place where life exists or life may have once existed. So I think I'm about finished with Mars. The last thing I need to do is mount Mars on my base. Cap it and snap it.